Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren and in today's video we've got another transparency update with a portfolio. So I'm going to be showing the gains for today. Usually I say losses and gains, but as you can see, no losses to be seen with the stocks in my portfolio today. Even on my watch list, rarely do you see a chart that's red. I mean, I'm scrolling down my watch list here. There's a few here and there like MFA Financial, Space, Disney. Poor Disney, man. It's just having a rough time there. And then Pepsi as well. But generally, most of the stocks on my stock list are green today. And as you can see with Tesla stock, it's up 10.84%. Microsoft is up 4.87%. Apple is up 2.22%. Even my free stock is up over 23%. And just a few notable movers down here below as well. Amazon stock is up over 8%. Adobe stock is up over 5%. Shopify stock is up near plus 9%. So I was actually really surprised to see some of these other stocks with similar movements to Tesla today. Like right before I clicked the record button, I was kind of mind blown that Amazon had grown over 8% today. I wasn't too surprised about Shopify because Shopify and Tesla are a bit similar in terms of their volatility and huge movements upwards as well. But the Amazon one was definitely a little bit unexpected today. I think they have earnings coming up, I believe, as well. We could actually just check that really quick yeah july 30th so actually today is a little bit strange for amazon to surge like it did with july 30th being much farther off than the q2 reports for tesla which is supposed to be on july 22nd so it is a little bit strange to see amazon surge this much today i think that may be due partially just because as we see more cases of the rona more people getting it as we see stuff like that i think there are people buying amazon just to hedge their portfolio if some of their other stocks are to drop in the future amazon is kind of one of those stocks that excels in a situation where there's a lockdown so so i definitely think people are buying amazon as like a hedge against some of their other stocks that may face some negative repercussions because of a potential lockdown or just because of more cases happening and more people buying products through amazon online honestly really amazon in the long term is just one of those stocks that i feel like you could buy right now yes maybe over the next one or two years you might not gain a lot in terms of percentage but in the long term i think think anybody could pretty much buy Amazon right now and make some money. That's just my personal opinion, definitely not financial advice. But what we really want to focus on today is Tesla gaining over 10.84% for the portfolio. It made me a lot of money today. And as always, if you do appreciate this content, around Tesla stock, the portfolio updates with the full transparency, whether I'm losing money or making money, I try to do these updates. So if you enjoy that content, please make sure to smash that like button. It really does help me out. And it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And keep in mind, if there are some days where I, I skip the transparency update, it's not because I'm ashamed of, of like a loss or something like that. I do not care whatsoever to showcase my losses for a day for the portfolio. Usually when I skip a day, it's just when I have something going on or to be honest i just get really lazy and i skip out on doing it but honestly i have a lot of fun with these videos and i think that some of you do enjoy this content i feel like there's not many people on youtube that are fully transparent with their portfolio every single day and keep their viewers up to date constantly on their portfolio consistently i see a lot of content creators you know updating the their viewers with their portfolio here and there maybe every one month maybe every three months just every now and then sometimes randomly but i don't see a lot of content creators just having that full transparency every single day with their viewers and just showing that up and down movement that does occur and that's what I like to do with my channel and these videos I like to give my current thoughts and predictions for the future how I'm feeling about the market currently and of course just sharing either a green day or a red day either losses or gains but it's just fun to share that with you all and just talk about the stock market so with all of that being said as you can see for today we have gained over six percent we are at plus 6.44 percent for today in the normal market hours, which is around $6,879. And for the after hours, we've already gained near 1%. We're at plus 0.83% so far. That's almost a $1,000 gain just in after hours at plus $944.12. So we really had like a mediocre day up until 12.15 p.m. Honestly, I was really hoping it wasn't going to be another one of those volatile days that we've seen just constantly throughout last week. I was really hoping we would at least see some sort of movement. And up until 12 p.m., 
we really didn't see much happen. But the good thing was, at least it was above the baseline. So it was a positive day so far, even up until we had this crazy movement upwards. And then around 12, 15 p.m., I saw this big increase that it started to climb uphill. And I knew when I saw my portfolio doing this, I knew it had to be Tesla stock. So I checked that out. And as you can see, Tesla pretty much skyrocketed. But we got to give Microsoft and Apple some credit as well. These were some big movers for today also. It's kind of crazy to think that every single stock in my portfolio was up over 2% for today. And so after that 12.15 p.m. marker, as you can see, it increased up until 12.45. We got a few bounces here and there, and then it hit this point at 1.50 p.m. at plus 5.33%, dropped back down a little bit. And then as we got to that last hour of the normal market hours, usually from 3 to 4 p.m. is when you really get that definite answer of where the market is going to go. It usually ends up with people panic selling within that last hour of the day or it just being a flat line across consistently with what it was at before that last hour or you get a surge at the end of the day or it gradually climbs upwards and that's exactly what it did with my portfolio in addition to Tesla stock that's pretty much what every stock did in my portfolio and we ended the day at around plus 6.5 percent so that is actually really crazy to see out of just my general stock portfolio you know that's something you can expect out of a specific stock pick that you chose or a specific company within your portfolio but to have your whole portfolio go up 6.5 percent in one day is definitely a pretty solid achievement in my opinion and it's a very rare occasion unless someone is doing options or unless they have a very concentrated portfolio like i do so with that being said so far I'm really happy with the portfolio. I'm hoping eventually we can hit that marker that we were at on July 13th. This was when Tesla absolutely skyrocketed. I believe the share price actually went up to like $1,700 or $1,750. And then we got a sharp decline in the same day. And we ended up losing every single bit of these gains just within July 13th. So it went back down very fast. And we had just pretty much a flat line for all of last week. And then finally, we're seeing a little bit more action with Tesla having some major events coming up soon like I've mentioned earlier we have the earnings Q2 announcements so we're going to figure out whether Tesla was profitable in quarter two of 2020 and as we know this is a huge deal considering that if they are profitable then that means it will have been the fourth quarter in a row that Tesla has been profitable meaning that Tesla would then qualify for the eligibility criteria for S&P 500 inclusion and for one thing, if we see that Q2 profit, that's a huge deal, a potential mover as well. There could be a potential sell-off also because as we know with many of the stocks and earnings reports, sometimes with certain companies, people will sell off after some positive news or just a little bit before it, like the day of or maybe two days before the announcement. So keep in mind, a potential big mover is just simply the announcement of profitability. And then also you would just have the simple fact that they would also meet the S&P 500 inclusion criteria. So you have the combination of not only just good news of Tesla being profitable in this upcoming quarter if they are able to do so but then you also have that additional potential mover of Tesla simply having the option to be eligible for the S&P 500 and keep in mind this is just the fact that they are eligible this doesn't even factor in the actual result of them being put into the S&P 500 so you could technically say just the fact that they are eligible could move the stock upwards and then once it's finally announced that they are included in the S&P S&P 500, it will almost just be mandatory for many firms to have to buy Tesla stock, which is another uphill mover for the stock. And then in addition, we have Battery Day in September. I believe it's on September 22nd. I know they moved the dates around. I think they moved it from the 15th to the 22nd now. So this is definitely a huge year for Tesla stock, and I'm really excited to see what happens in the future. And it's just always awesome to see Tesla up a significant amount in a day. I always love to see it up over 5% because it's just so crazy to see. And when I see that happen, I know I've made a lot of money considering that Tesla takes up the majority of my portfolio. It's the largest holding at around like 47, 48%. So with all of that being said, I'll go ahead and do the breakdown for today's gains. We'll start off with Tesla since it is my largest holding. As you can see with today's growth, it is now 
49.38% of my portfolio. I own around 34.028 shares, and then my average cost is $839.34. And then the total market value currently of my holding is $56,605, and my initial cost is $28,561. And then for today's return, we are at plus 10.84%, or plus $5,535 in three cents. And then for the total return, we are at near 100%, plus 98.19%, or plus $28,044.72. So Tesla stock made me so much money today. It made me around $5,000, almost 6,000, so we're at 5,500. Definitely a big money maker for me today. And then we also can't forget about Microsoft and Apple as well. Microsoft did extremely well today, and I think it was about time because Microsoft has been dipping recently. And I thought when we were at this point, like July 16th, July 17th, when it was at $204 per share, I knew that was an opportunity to buy. And it was at that price where if I actually had money to put into the stock market, I probably would have bought a few shares at $204. But unfortunately, I just don't have the money to purchase any shares right now. And as you can see, I own 195 shares of Microsoft. It takes up 36.19% of my portfolio. And my average cost is $171.39. And keep in mind, with this 195 shares, I would like to at least least get this to 200 shares in the future for one thing microsoft is an excellent dividend and growth stock as well so i feel like i do need to put a little bit more money into some dividend stocks in the future so that's why i may be purchasing some more microsoft in the next few months or so i have to wait until the end of august until i can actually start putting more money into the stock market but as you can see my cost is at thirty three thousand four hundred twenty dollars and the current market value is at forty one thousand four hundred ninety dollars then for today's return we are at plus four point eight seven percent or plus $1,928.55. And it's actually crazy to see Microsoft go up around 5% in one day. Like, that's a Tesla movement. That's something you really don't see out of Microsoft that often. And for the total return, we are at plus 24.14% or plus $8,069.43. So a fantastic day for Microsoft as well. I could honestly say Microsoft stock made me a lot of money as well in addition to Tesla. So we have Apple as well, another great mover for today. Unfortunately, I don't have too much money in Apple, even though it has grown a lot for me recently. The portfolio diversity is at 14.43%. I own 42 shares. The average cost is $285.95. Market value is $16,541. Initial cost is $12,010. And then today's return is at plus 2.22%, which is around $358.68 in gains. And then for the total return we are at plus 37.73 percent or plus four thousand five hundred thirty one dollars and sixty two cents so really with every stock in my portfolio all three of these i don't really include this one since it was a free stock but all three of these stocks were fantastic movers for me today probably one of my best stock market days ever i believe i may have earned more than this actually i don't know i've had a fantastic tesla day before but i think that was on the 13th where we pretty much lost all of the gains by the end of that day so this could be my best stock market day ever i'm not 100 percent sure just yet but i believe it might be but anyways i just wanted to do another transparency update with you all and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to smash that like button like i said it helps me out and it also shows me that you all enjoy the content and in addition to that if you would like to begin investing or just check out some other brokerages like we and Robinhood. If you use my referral links in the description to sign up with some accounts to those, then you'll get some free stocks. And especially with Webull, they have a big promotion right now where you can actually get more than just two free stocks. You can sign up with my referral link. And then if you deposit certain amounts, you can get up to 60 free stocks. So you can get a crazy amount of free stocks. But I think to get 60, you have to deposit $250,000. But I still think you can get a pretty solid amount if you deposit like $5,000. I think you can get like either eight or 10 free stocks just for for that but anyways i just want to let you all know about that i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week